Now at 5, an Atlanta landmark expected to be demolished. We told you earlier this month when a second fire engulfed Krispy Kreme, the building there in Midtown on Ponce de Leon. The inside was still damaged from the first fire back in February, where fire investigators concluded it was arson. CBS 46's Brittany Etney joins us live from the building. And Brittany, the future of that building still uncertain. Yeah, that's right, Sean, and that is because both a demolition and also a redevelopment permit have both been filed for this Midtown hotspot. I can tell you, though, regardless, a lot of Atlantans say this place still holds a special place in their heart. With that smell of those Krispy Kremes, you know, just waffling out over the whole area. Atlanta resident Carol Baird says she has fond sugar-coated memories of this Krispy Kreme landmark from the 1960s. She'd buy a dozen gooey glazed donuts for under a buck, then flip them for profit. I remember coming down here, you know, when the sun's just coming up on a Saturday morning and hauling, going to the back door and we'd load, you know, two, three hundred boxes of Krispy Kreme donuts in the back of the car and take them back out to East Marietta to the little shopping centers and sell them. That's how we made money. So basically, students were rolling in the dough. It was like heaven. Because it not only did it taste good, but it meant money, you know. But now the scent of suspicion fills the air surrounding the once glazed, then blazed, now raised business. This location, owned by Shaquille O'Neal, has caught fire twice since February. The first, investigators ruled an arson. The second is still under investigation because of suspicious circumstances, including a secure fenced in sight with all utilities turned off. It's a shame it happened because it's nice to have an old landmark that you can remember. One where the hot sign meant something special for Atlanta students. And while the cause of that second fire still is under invest investigation, arson has still not been ruled out. Reporting live in Atlanta, I'm Brittany Yedney, CBS 46 News. Brittany, thank you.